Hi, this is Dr. Kemi Lulayor. It's the 25th of February, 2020. And this video is for Apostle Suleiman. Apostle Suleiman, I saw your video of the sermon about bleaching. And I just wanted to educate you on bleaching and whitening. There were some things you said in the bleaching that are actually myths. When I say myths, a lot of people tend to think it's what's happening, but it's not. As a pharmacist in America, I used to compound bleaching creams for patients of dermatologists. And in that you know, you know, case, we had black dermatologists who would send black patients to us to compound certain creams with hydroquinone. Maybe for their knees, maybe for their knuckles, maybe for their you know, elbows. We had a lot of that. Some of them were already light-skinned people. I remember one woman particularly who used to scrub floors at her job. And she said her knees got darker because she was on her knees working every day. So she wanted the knees to go back to the tone of the rest of her body. So the doctor will give her a prescription. Now, when that prescription comes to us, we compound the prescription. Compounding means the pharmacist is going to take ingredients in the pharmacy, mix it together, and bring out a cosmetic product. Yes, that's what we're trained to do. So I do a lot of compounds. At the end of the day, the patient puts it on the elbow and the knees, and it gets lightened. In your sermon, you mentioned that some parts of the skin do not want to bleach. That's not true. It's really you controlling your skin. Now, another part you mentioned was the body odor part. We have this issue with Tatcha, the Big Brother Niger housemate, and the body odor. And I spoke about hydroquinone and air and sun heat. Those things are not friends with HC. Now, hydroquinone, when it's exposed to air, okay, or it's exposed to heat, it can cause an odor and change color. Now, let me explain that carefully. If I take a hydroquinone cream, stir it and put it in a cup or a saucer, and I leave it on my balcony, in about an hour, it'll be brown on that saucer, and then it'll have an odor. Imagine putting that on your skin. You'll have that same odor. Imagine just putting it out on your skin, okay, and you go out in the sun without a sunscreen. You're going to have that body odor. There's something missing in many hydroquinone creams, and it's PABA. P-A-B-A. You see it on some creams and say, oh, this bleaching cream, this whitening cream with PABA. PABA is para-aminobenzoic acid. Para-aminobenzoic acid is a chemical, but... The layman's term is sunscreen. That's all it is. White people want to tan. They want to look brown. They want to go to the beach. They have to put sunscreen on while they're going out to tan. So at the end of the day, if you're making a hydroquinone-based cream and you have no sunscreen in it, the person is going to go out and patches of their skin might look browner than others simply because the reaction between the sun and the hydroquinone happened in their skin. And that's why you see some women who bleach and have patches of different colors. Okay? Now, Pastor Suleiman, I like the biblical explanation, but the fact is we have to look at the reality in real life. Okay? Now, we've talked about the odor, and we've talked about areas that are darker that don't bleach as fast as others. Now, let's talk about... Steroid creams. Apostle Suleiman, steroid creams, a lot of their names end with A-T-E. Vate, you know, Movate, Dermavate, this one Vate, that one Vate. Most of the steroid creams are manufactured in the United States. If you're buying a drug in a drugstore in Nigeria, maybe a tab, or maybe some kind of anything, you might see the word BP inscribed on that tablet or on, on the bottle, BP. BP stands for British Pharmacopoeia. The pharmacopoeia is the big giant Bible of pharmaceuticals. Oh yeah, we have a Bible. It's big like a Bible. That's the pharmacopoeia. The BP, every drug in the British pharmacopoeia is marketed in the UK and many of it used in Nigeria. We also have the United States pharmacopoeia. Ours is a bigger Bible. I don't know why the United States one, when I first got to school, my first year of pharmacy school, out of the six years, I had to buy the... USP, goodness, that was the most expensive in our book list. I think it was like $200. But anyway, the United States Pharmacopoeia has all the drugs that are marketed in the United States. And a lot of creams in Nigeria will have USP on there. The Movis, the Dermavit, all those creams, USP. That means it came from the United States. 
Steroid creams are supposed to be for conditions in the skin. And those skin conditions could be eczema, psoriasis, or even a rash. When you put a steroid cream on a rash, it works very well, it clears it. However, the stronger steroid creams have a side effect. The rash should be gone, but it also lightens the skin. So doctors tend not to prescribe the very powerful steroid creams to people who are dark skin. Because, you know, what's the sense? My son is dark skin. Rich Kenyatti is black gang. That's his nickname. Okay, when black gang had, you know, a, a skin condition on his thigh, imagine if we had used that steroid cream, the skin condition would have been gone, and then he'll have a light skin thigh. Doesn't make sense. So the side effects of steroid creams is lightening your skin. And many Nigerian women are using steroid creams as their regular cream every day so that it can continue being light. Which brings me to what you said, Apostle Suleiman, about cancer and how they're taking a layer of skin out. They're really not. They're just brightening their melanin. Melanin is what gives us our skin color. They're brightening the melanin. But those people using steroid creams or thinning their skins, okay? They're not taking it out, they're actually thinning it. Steroid creams have a long-term effect. I mean, they have to use it for a long time. 10 years, five years, five to 10 years before they can actually get that cancer of the skin. So please avoid steroid creams for bleaching. Hydroquinone creams are not legal in Nigeria anymore. The Nigerian government banned them when NAFDAQ arrived. In the 70s and 80s, your mother gave you Venus de Milo to cream yourself on your way to school. And you got lighter and didn't even know why you were late. But today, they removed it all. However, you can still find hydroquinone creams in the market. This is the problem with NAVDAC. NAVDAC cannot regulate what's in the market. In the market, you'll see Cara White. I don't like Cara White. That product is from Ivory Coast, and it has a lot of hydroquinone in it. It's not displaying what's inside. It's displaying 2%. Okay, 2% is over the counter in America, 4% is prescription. We have to make that. And Cara White tends to give you spots. People have spots of light skin on their thighs, on their body, everything. So, my own thing is don't bleach your skin, whiten your skin. Many of you have been asking me, how do I whiten my skin? I don't use creams, I use a soap, a whitening soap. I bathe with it every day, I make it myself. And I know everybody's been calling me, writing me, I want it, I want it. I told you I can't sell it without a NAFDAQ number. And I'm in the NAFDAQ glare and I don't have the money right now. Okay, if I had the money, I'll begin to be a manufacturer. But it's all right. I lost my entire business three years ago. I've been through a lot, so it's not time to manufacture anything yet. When I have money and everything, okay, I'll get a NAFDAQ number, go to China, have it manufactured and come back with it. China is closed right now. So a lot of factors. My own soap... It's a whitening soap. I use a Thailand soap. Many people in Thailand, China, Japan, and even Philippines, the Asian people are the ones that started whitening. And that started with the geisha girls. The geisha girls in Japan, that have their white face, okay? That's not makeup, well, that's their face, okay? Splash Company in Philippines started a line of beauty products. You can see in some of the supermarkets there. That wasn't an endorsement, but they were lucky. Okay, there are a lot of people who are selling whitening products. Okay, and they're not bleaching products. You have to know the difference. Many companies, Jurgens, Nivea, a lot of these companies are now in Nigeria. Go to an average drugstore, you'll see their products there. Oh, fair and white, white in this one, fair, you know. How do you tell a whitening product from a bleaching product? Look at the ingredients. The minute you see hydroquinone, it's a bleaching product, okay? If you like hydroquinone and there's no PABA inside, P-A-B-A, -A, look for it in the ingredients, paramino benzoic acid. If there's no sunscreen, you're on your own. You're going to go out there in the sun, okay? You're not going to be toned evenly, and you're going to have that body odor, and it's not funny. And that's what got Tatcha into trouble. So know the facts. I have a video on IGTV already. I have two videos on YouTube, but people are still not watching these things and understanding I'm a pharmacist. We make creams, lotion, we make all these cosmetics. Okay? I'm not a fan of creams because I'm, you know, in America, you had a body wash. A wash that had a lotion in there. So you wash in the shower. You come out of the shower, everything's cool. Put on your clothes, go. Perfume, finish. That's what I love. 
That's why I'm using a soap to whiten my skin. Nothing wrong with that. As you're looking at me right now, okay? There's no filters. All right, this is my face, but there's something on my face though. Dusting powder. After I shower in the morning, I put dusting powder. So I might look whiter than my skin, my body. Okay, and I'm also facing the light. So it's very important to know the difference. Apostle Suleiman. <laughs> I'm an intelligent woman, guys. I have to tell you the truth, okay? Apostle Suleiman is a pastor. And I really did enjoy his sermon with regards to this whole whitening and bleaching. But Apostle, there's two things going on, okay? The two different things, whitening and bleaching. And to end this video... Let me do it calmly because my voice changed, right? To end this video, Apostle Sullivan and everybody watching, I have to explain to you exactly what goes into a whitening cream or a whitening lotion. In my own case, I have a whitening soap. That's all I use. Okay, I made my own with these combinations of the Thailand soap, okay, which I bought in Lagos. I can't name anything. I can't endorse anything because I don't want anyone experimenting. That soap was melted in my black soap, okay, Nigerian or Shadudu black soap, okay, the powder. I went to Agege Market when I got that and I filmed it and showed you. Some seeds, eucalyptus and others, grounded together with that soap, mounded with my Thailand soap, and I put it in plastics. And I bathed with one mound for a week. After one week, I'm glowing. Okay, I'm 55, but I don't want to be like 55. I don't. I feel 55 inside, but outside I want to look attractive. Okay, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a sugar daddy. I just want to look good, all right? I'm in recovery from PTSD, 80% recovery. So technically, I'm still 20% sick. So I want to make my life bright. I want to enjoy myself, and I want to look good. That's all it is about. So the whitening creams, whitening lotions, and soap contain berries, Okay, fruit acids basically. And those fruit acids are berries, the strawberry, the raspberry, and the blueberry. The acids coming out of that is what is whitening you. Papaya, popo. If you have popo on the tree, the black thing there that you throw out the seeds, grind it, dry it in the sun, grind it, okay? Mix it with your soap, okay? And see what happens, this is a whitening agents. So I see papaya soap everywhere. That's even cheaper for you instead of making your own. Papaya soup everywhere in the stores. Everybody makes it. I wouldn't endorse anyone. They're all the same. And if you want to do carrot, carrot has a lot of acids when it comes to fruit acids. Carrot is also a lightening product. Excuse me, a whitening product. So carrot soaps, okay. Carrot soaps, um, berries, and of course papaya. Those are your whitening products. So... Use them and look good. Bleaching is steroids and hydroquinone. Whitening is fruit acids. Did I educate you? This is my last video on bleaching and whitening. Apostle Suleiman. Shout out to you. From Evangelist Kemi. May God intercept the work of the wicked. Overturn it back to them. And may we all come out beautifully made. And glowing. Like the kingdom of heaven. Thanks for watching everybody. Follow me at Camilla everywhere on social media.